Ultimate WB. How to design your website. The basics. Here's the starting website. OK. Go to Admin Panel. Mouse over the Configure Site menu, and click on Styles Manager. Let's create a new style sheet. Go to Add Style Sheet. And here you can load the new style sheet fields with a saved style sheet. Name the new style sheet. The default style is checkmarked, so web pages using the default style sheet will get updated with this new style. Let's choose page body background color. Just click on the color text input box, and then click on the color you want. You can also paste the color code in the box. To save the style sheet, you can click the enter key on your keyboard, or scroll down the page and click the add button. Let's go back to our website. Refresh the web page to load the updates. And the page body background is green. Now let's edit the style sheet we just created. Switch back to admin panel. Click on the list style sheets link. Here are the list of saved style sheets. Click on the edit button for the one you want to edit. Shortcut, configure site styles manager for the default style sheet. OK, let's get more green showing and set the page wrapper transparent. Save. Refresh. Let's get the page to fill the full screen width. Scroll to page content. Just remove the page content width, pixel size. Save. So now the page content will expand. Refresh. Get more green background by setting the page content background transparent. Save changes. Refresh. Why still white parts thin? The page is not all green because the individual page section backgrounds are white. Let's set a page body background image. Here, click on the button to choose a file from the pop-up window. We choose repeat image horizontally to repeat the image across the page. Save changes. Refresh web page. And there is the background image. Let's change the header wrapper background color. And set the header content background transparent. Save changes. Refresh web page. Header background color is blue. Let's update the menu style. You can click on the top menu link to jump to the menu section. Let's set a menu wrapper background color.
Set the menu content background transparent. Set menu outer border color. Choose menu border width. Remove menu tab separator border by choosing style none. OK. Save changes. Refresh web page. We got a green background menu, with no borders between the menu tabs. Scroll to menu stylize content. Let's set the menu content width pixels, and choose a line center. We click on a text box to click enter to save changes. Refresh web page. The menu outer borders are 935 pixels wide, set to the width of the menu content, and the menu is centered. Let's scroll down to the top level menu tabs borders section again. Choose Border Style Solid to add in borders between the menu tabs. Save. Refresh. And there it is. Let's update the menu tabs coloring. Scroll down to Tabs Font Color and Tabs Background Color. And now for the tabs mouse over slash active style. Save. Refresh. Let's get more of the background image showing through. Set the other page section backgrounds transparent. Click on the top link to jump to the top of the page. Click on the page sections link to jump there. Now we just highlight and delete the background color. This is for the main page section, i.e. the space between the header and footer. The wrapper. The content. Scroll down. The photo full sections. Text full sections. Top text full sections. Bottom text full sections. And photo and text sections. The sections are web pages currently using not the full sections, as it is half photo slash half text formatting. And the extra top text sections and extra bottom text sections. Wondering what all these page sections are? They have to do with your chosen page format. You can take a quick peek at the page formats by going to Pages, Add Page. Scroll down the page. And there you are. The page formats. OK, let's save the style sheet changes. Refresh web page. Let's change the footer background color. Scroll down in the page sections, to the footer wrapper. And let's make the footer content background transparent. Save. 
Refresh. There it is. Let's change the page title color to make it clear against the background image. Click on the top link, then click on page sections text. And choose the color for the page titles. Save, and refresh web page. Let's change the page text color. Scroll down a little bit. It's right there, under the page titles section. Click to choose color. Save. And page refresh. Now the text really pops out. Let's set the header content width, pixels. The header section is before the menu section, towards the top of the style sheet page. Set the width. Save. Refresh, and the page header content is nicely aligned with the menu content.